Hey there, this is Dave from SEOtips4.com. We get free search engine optimization articles as well as join other webmasters in our nice community. Today we're going to go over how to stop spammers from even signing up at your forums. And to do this, we're going to need to log into your vBulletin forums. And once you're there, you're going to need to log into your admin CP area. After you log into your admin CPA area, we're once you're in your admin CPA area, we're going to set up a few different options. The first is a human verification. This is going to help stop all the spam bots from signing up. There's really no way to stop human spammers, but this will help cut down on all the bots and the free iPods and cell phone posts. <coughs> Over on the left, you'll see vBulletin options. Click that, and then Human Verification Manager. From here, you'll have your human verification library, and for this, we're going to choose the question and answer verification. Hit save. As you can see, mine's already set up because I've been using this for a long time with great success, and I don't have any spammers on my forums. So, down at the bottom, you'll see a question and answer verification options, and you're going to want to add a new question. This will take you to the screen where you can add your question, and in the question field, let's enter something that most people will know, but it will be hard for spam bots to guess. Like, who was the first president of the United States of America? Now, just about anyone will know this, <clears throat> except maybe someone from outside of America. But that's okay, because they can easily find the answer. Hit save, and after you do that, you're going to want to add a new answer. So in your answer field, you'll want to type George Washington. Capitalization doesn't matter here, it will accept both lowercase and uppercase. And since some people might also want to type just Washington in, we're going to also add Washington. And as you can see, now whenever this question is asked, George Washington and Washington are both acceptable answers, who was indeed the first president of the United States. So we're going to go to the forum homepage and we're going to log out of our forums. After we're logged out, we're going to want to register a new account just to test everything out. We're going to agree to our forum rules. And then once we're here, we're going to make up some names like George Washington. And then we're going to type in our password. And then we're going to give ourselves an email address. And, and since the human verification uh, questions are all random, every time you load this page, you're going to get a different question. For ours, we've got the square root of 9. I've also put the answer here in case somebody didn't know, which you can do, and it's optional. If you reload your page, you'll see, you'll probably get a different uh, question. This time we didn't, we got the same one. And we just got the same one again. So let's go back and try to get a new question. See, and now we have what color is the sky. If we go back and we do it again, we'll probably get a different one again. Nope, we got what color is the sky again. This time, we got our question we just entered. Who was the first president of the United States of America? So let's test this out. We're just filling in all of our information here. Let's say we type in George. As you can see, we've intentionally misspelled George to see if it would catch it. So we hit complete registration and you can see the answer given for the random question was incorrect. Whenever a spam bot gets here, they'll hardly ever be able to guess this answer. So we got to do it all over again and this time we got what the square root of 9 is. And for this we're going to enter 3. As you can see I've supplied the answer in the numerical form. But in the question and answer verification screen I also supplied 3 as a good answer. Complete registration. 
and that's how you stop spammers from signing up on your vBulletin forms. As you can see, it's really simple and easy to use, and it only takes a few minutes of your time to set up and configure. Hope you found this tip useful, and it helps prevent all the spam on your forms. For more tips, check out seotips4.com.